from our point of view, our program, they get a lot of coaching from yourselves, they get a lot of coaching from Clubland, but what we're trying to do from now on is, or the last couple of years, is get um, some Origin Legends, some True Blues in, and give you a lot more specific coaching, positional coaching. Otherwise, it's just a point of difference, which I think the players really enjoy. Um, but just with your game plans and things, get you to think a little bit differently on what, what constitutes a game plan and what you're trying to get out of a game plan. Are you doing a game plan for the, what reason? Why? Why are you doing that game plan? Are you incorporating all the key uh, specifics of every player? You know, have you got a halfback that takes the ball to the line? Have you got a halfback that throws a good left to right pass? All these different things, you've got to tailor around your, your specific game plan around those players, not just what you think sometimes. Come in. All right, your feet, okay. That there, is that a good passing position? Terrible. Okay, because it cuts off about 60% of your power. Okay, if you have to go like that, see the power, I've got to go all the way across. Okay, just cuts all that power off. So you've got to open up your, your bridge pretty much. Okay, your foot needs to go where the ball's going to go at the target. Okay, have a go at that. A couple of those. Nice. See a lot more power there, beautiful. Yeah. So these are the core skills, you guys can just keep pumping at your schools, okay? If I'm standing here, I'm happen to be at A, there's three of us on a short side, I look up, there's a back row there, there's a centre winger, they stand like this, the half's there, the fullback's there. I know we're pretty cool, okay? I probably don't need to shout at a marker or do anything. If I stand there and there's a fullback standing there and then there's a half hanging here or there's a front. You can read plays, right? You know what, you've done some video, you know what's going on. So I'm standing here, <clears throat> I need to communicate because I think they're going to come and I'm going to say, I need, a, I need a marker, don't leave me marker, come step back, I need you, I need you. I'm telling him as much as I can because he's just made four tackles in a row, he's knackered, he's gone. I'm at marker, how good's this? I don't have to run back 10 metres. My job's done, I'm going to point short side, this is the best thing ever. I can't, this can't get any better. And yet the half goes, the hooker just goes, boom, jumps out, there's a front row, there's a back row there, the half sneak around the back, boom, three on four, whatever, we're in trouble. So I need to keep him alert, play recognition, and again communicating, I need one, don't leave me, I need a marker, give me a marker, come on, come on. If you tell someone to do something, they're a hundred times more chance of doing it. Not that people aren't trying to not do things. Kick chase, if you're kicking down there, you're running down, I can sprint as hard as I can because I've got energy. But if I say, front row or whatever, I need you to come with me, don't leave me. You've got to come hard on this kick chase. Come on, come on, we've got to do this. Is he going to do it? He'll do his best. You know, if you don't say anything, communication is massive. If you don't say anything to him, he probably won't do it if he's knackered. One thing that should just be token of an outside back's DNA is catch pass. And it should be the ability to catch pass peripherally. It doesn't mean look and go, ah, oh, uh, yep, pass. So a really good drill is just you pass and one of you can pass. Doesn't matter who. Just and it's just it's just an awareness. It's an awareness to catch, to pass, getting the ball in your hands, knowing where the ball is. If a person's coming out of the line at me, well, okay, I'm like, okay, I'm going to pass. And simulate the situation and just get them, get a feel for, you know, for the football. It's, it's just a really, again, it's not, tax, it's not taxing on their body. They can't whinge about it. It's just a really good drill. You'd be surprised, like, I know it's only first go, but you do this for one, two, three years. Like, I had to do this for warm-up for 20 minutes before I even went out to training, just every day. Before you know it, you know, you're talking to someone, just catching, passing, catching, passing, and then all of a sudden in the game when a winger wedges you, it's just there, you know, it's, it's second nature. So, little defensive principle with one marker, doesn't engage. Does not engage. There's no one here telling him which way to go, left or right. He just stays there, doesn't need to bite in on the dummy half, almost keeps that set square position. Yeah, I've got him, I've got him, until he starts to engage in on you, then you tackle him. If Gleeson starts to come out and engages me, and I sink in on him, and he gets the ball away, now you've only got 11 in your defensive line. 
okay? Keep him at arm's distance. He starts to jump out. I'm by myself, square, 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 until I'm in that little mini line of three. A's come up, A's come up. I'm nice and comfortable now. I can go and put him to bed, all right? Which I do as well. <laughs> all right, so A's always start up at that red cone, simulate getting back on side. As soon as you get back, I'll play. Defenders, go. Yes, pick it, pick it. Oh, I swear, little mini line of three straight away. There's your unit, centre of universe. When you're approaching a ruck, a hooker, okay, make sure they don't come, they're going to come straight on. Okay, don't let them come like this. Show away, it's not doing anything to the markers. Get them to come at an angle. Go like that, and rock. Yep. Have a go at that for me. So that's how they should, all dummy halves should come. Come to an angle, so if I'm marker, I'm going like that, I might think it's going that way. It's all deception, this is selling deception. Okay, if you come straight in, if you come straight in, come straight in. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay still and then just go get ya. But if you come to an angle, I'm like, just that little bit there, and I'm gone, and then you can play back. Okay, this is selling deception drill. Yep, have a go. So this is just a rock, you need to do this with your dummy halves, your number nines. Yeah, nice. Pick the ball up. Yeah, pick the ball up. Yeah, nice. Don't forget that position of power. Don't just bend over. So you've got to have that board. Make sure that board was a touch. Position of power. Yep. You can take anything out of today. Just little drills that, again, you might not get satisfaction for straight away with a victory. But if that kid progresses and you're having a beer on the lounge and you see some of his skill, you'll know you're a part of it.